Hey guys, and welcome back to Sam Says. So today we're here at the Dallas Zoo. I'm super excited. We're gonna be doing the backstage safari tour. We're gonna get to see a lot of cool animals. Maybe even get to play with them. It's gonna be such an adventure full of such fun things. Let's go. Welcome to the Dallas Zoo. This is our ride for the day. It's really hot here, but at least we're going to be traveling in style in this cute little tiger van. So first stop that you guys have this morning is at our elephant area. We're on the way to feed the elephants. I'm really excited, but I'm really scared. I've never fed an elephant or been up close to one before, so it's going to be pretty scary. On my way to Africa. Today you guys are going to have to feed the elephants on long bamboo poles. Um, so they're kind of sharp on the end, so when you stack the fruit on there, the oranges or the apples, just be careful not to stack yourself. And you're going to stick them out and feed them to the elephants. They'll grab it with their trunk. Now if they do grab the bamboo pole, let it go. They can have it, they can eat it, they can break it. Did you know elephants eat two to 300 pounds of food a day? This is by far one of the coolest things I've ever done. I just fed an elephant. Boss mode. Go on to see the pangs. proud to say I did it and I have officially held a penguin. Fun fact about penguin, they each weigh somewhere around three kilos. And we even saw somebody get engaged. Yay! Yay! So congrats to them. Check out my little bud back here in the hood. This is the, the largest species of owl in the entire world. Now that being said though, he is not the largest one. In the owl world, the girls are bigger and badder than the boys. That's because girls have to take care of the nest and take care of the young and have a little bit more room to have eggs and things like that. Does this look like the same kind of armadillo we have here in Texas though? No, this is a three-banded armadillo. But you'll notice she's not forming a fully armored ball, is she? She's leaving herself a little bit open. And that has to do with protecting herself from predators. So I am giving you guys <laughs> some honey. She can eat about 9,000 ants in just one day. Her formal name is actually not anteater. Her formal name is called a tamandua. If you hear lesser or greater in the animal world, it usually refers to the smallest or the largest of its kind. I'm so scared. His mom had five cubs, which is too many for her to care for. And so he actually was pulled at just hours old and hand reared. So what we're gonna do is just to keep a five foot radius at all times. About to feed a giraffe, freaking out. Oh no! Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't. Give it to him! I'm so scared. You're being killed! me! Get up here, girl. Give it to him. Okay, so I just went to the end of the backstage safari tour and I played with an armadillo, a cheetah, and an owl. Um, let's we'll talk about each one. So the cheetah, I was so freaking scared and I almost peed my pants, but we had to stand five feet away and just take a cute picture. It was pretty fun, but I was literally so scared the entire time. I thought I was gonna be eaten alive. And then we got to see the owl. We got to just pet it on its feathers. It was really cute. I want an owl now. It's like, and like, it's sort of like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Kruger. It was so adorable. And then the armadillo was just disgusting. I'm never gonna encounter another armadillo. Not cute, not cute. And then the last animal was an anteater and like they stick honey on your fingers so you can go and feed them, but I was not about that life. Thank you. Some honey. So, I so no guys, sorry, I didn't feed the anteater. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Everything else here was so amazing today and I was so fortunate to be able to come to the Dallas Zoo. Oh, and then I fed a giraffe 
and that was just the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. You stuck out the little graham cracker. My favorite part of the day was probably feeding the elephant, and it was super fun to kind of like stab a fruit with a stick and then throw it on over. Gotta feed the baby. And it's really cute and adorable to see how the elephant just picks it up with its little nose. It's strong and just stuffs it on down the throat. I think everyone should try and come and do this safari because all the proceeds go to the animals and their preservation here at the Dallas Zoo. And um, I learned something that really touched my heart is that elephants will be extinct in 20 years of elephant poaching for ivory purposes does not stop. So everyone just really needs to do their best to not buy ivory anymore. And my elephant's name was Conga and I got really attached to it. I nicknamed it Ellie. Come here, Ellie. Can we name it Ellie? Save the elephants. Special thanks to the Dallas Zoo for being so amazing. Keep up the good work. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to Sam Says today. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys from Fashion Week.